Scorpio. Let's jump straight into it and have a look and see how your relationship will fare with this person. Um, a little bit more um, into the relationship um, and what can come of it potentially for the both of you. So this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's have a look and see. Okay, let's start off with the Knight of Cups. This person is going to offer you a lot, Leo. Um, especially in terms of emotions. I definitely feel like you you too will be offering them a quite a fair bit because you've come up as the card in the cards as the Queen of Wands here in regards to your relationship. I do feel like you'll hold a lot of dominance or influence um, over this person. Okay, you'll definitely become very very important to them. Um, I can see that their emotions are going to develop for you fairly quickly. Um, and they'll see the value of you very early on in your connection, actually. Um, because the Knight of Cups walks towards this when what will be a, a, a steep climb. Um, and it's full of challenges. Um, and they're aware of that. There might be challenges or complexities or something that they have to work towards or be. It's almost like, not that they'll change, um, Leo, but... I mean, yes, they could change, but they'll want to be someone that you want them to be. And they're going to strive for that. And again, it shows initiative because if I take you out of the equation, they do have some very, they do very much have some Leo traits here that you'll come to appreciate and that you'll come to um, acknowledge about them. And this will be some of the things that you really admire, that you really love about them, um, Leo. But look, the, the Knight of Cups is uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. It is emotion. And I feel like them offering their cup to you, I think they're going to fall in love with you first. Um, or they might even offer, you know, to engage in a relationship with you. It's I feel like it's their initiative. It's their offer. They're the one that's going there. They are the one that's going to come forward here, especially emotionally speaking. But you can come. You can really appreciate this person's. I do feel like there's going to be a lot of honesty, um, and a lot of honesty and love in your connection here, Leo. Purity, a lot of purity. Okay, um, because that's what the Knight of Cups is. He's very resilient. He's very reliable, um, and especially there for emotional support and encouragement and inspiration. Um, this person will be there for you very, very much so. So that's very, um, very beautiful to see. Also, the Four of Cups has come up. Okay. Now, the number four here is a good number. It is a number of concreteness, solidarity, um, you know, of, of completion, the four corners, the four elements. So it's really comprising a lot. This relationship could go on for four weeks, four months, four years, 40 years. The number four could be significant about this person. But what I love here is that this is the both of you sitting at your tree of life. And what that means is, is that this relationship has the potential to be absolutely life changing for you, Leo. This is the hand of God that's making you this offering and they're going to surprise you in a lot of ways. Life will take you by surprise when this person enters your life. There could be a lot of other things that change around you. Work, living situations, friends, family wants, desires, needs, all of these things could change fairly quickly or could be altered when this person enters your life. But it is a kind of illumination. I feel like you'll be learning a lot, not only about yourselves, but also about each other and your relationship when the two of you come together. Um, something that you won't plan with, with this person will take place. Um, could be unplanned pregnancies, could be a spur of the moment marriage, could be moving in together fairly quickly, could be taking a trip together, something that you hadn't really envisioned yourself doing, Leo, you'll actually come to do with this person. And this is quite interesting because this is the hand of God emerging from the clouds here. This is a higher power, the gods, your spirit guides, um, angels, the universe, law of attraction. This is a higher realm that's going to intervene in this relationship, 
or divinely guide the two of you here. But the tree of life is here. There could be new life that is formed from this relationship. Um, a new life in general, living abroad together, creating a family, having children, the prospect of the, the, the branches of the tree expanding. So life expansion could happen very much in your relationship. There is a few surprises in the, in, in the work. See, this person is going to surprise you a lot, but it's going to happen in time. It's not going to happen right away. Just when you think you'll have them all figured out, they're going to come in and surprise you with a few things. You'll learn, you'll come to learn a lot about them. I mean, we all have secrets. We all have parts of ourselves we don't reveal, at least not early on. It, it might take place later in the relationship. Um, but the fact that that's come up, I think, speaks volumes of, of, of how this person is going to surprise you and where this could really go. So, you know, I almost want to say to you, enjoy the surprises, um, because I do think there will be many, many to enjoy here, Leo. You also have the Queen of Wands. She is the Leo, okay? She rules spirituality, activity, birth, you know, sensuality, superstitions, um, the, the, the higher realm. She's very, very passionate. She's also deeply sexual. So um, intimacy will not be a problem between the two of you. Um, but paranoia and superstition could be something involved in the relationship here. I say that because the black cat is here almost guarding the queen of wands. She has a certain way of power over animals. She commands their attention. But oftentimes the black cat is seen as a symbol of superstition, bad luck. Um, you know, it's an omen of some kind here. So it's interesting that has come up. There might be superstition or paranoia either from you to this person or from this person to you. And it might just impact your relationship. That might be one of the obstacles that you might need to work through, Leo. But for the most part, I do think you'll have more control um, in this relationship or the upper hand in some way. Maybe because your personality might be more dominant than theirs. Or maybe you feel like the ball is in your court. But for some reason, I do see you having the upper hand. Again, um, it could also rule travel and activity and relocation together. The flowers blossoming and becoming more open with each other. So this could be quite an open relationship for some of you. And again, not for all, but for some of you wanting an open relationship or wanting to meet someone that can offer you that, that might be this person. Um, or maybe you want that open relationship, or maybe they want it, but, you know, everyone is different. Some people might like that sort of dynamic. Other people might not. You know, they might become a bit jealous. Um, you know, the Leo is jealous and possessive here, so that might also be issues, whether it's coming from you to them or them to you. Um, in a lot of ways, I think the two of you are like chalk and cheese, but you can make it work, Leo. You can absolutely make it work together. So... That is very much a possibility, um, but it's it's seizing the moment, taking control, taking reign. I think that's the only way the two of you are going to work forward in the future. But look, I will leave it at that, Leo. Take care, everyone. Have a fantastic week, and we shall be chatting soon. Thanks again. Bye for now.